wanted to talk about the incident on um, Halloween that we've talked about earlier this evening. Um, first of all, I want all of our workers, um, and we have a very diverse workforce, to know that we have a standing zero tolerance policy for discrimination and for any kind of racially motivated behavior that will not be tolerated here in the city of West Palm Beach. We have conducted extensive training with all of our employees about diversity and respect for diversity, and we will continue to do that. It's a standard practice here for us to work with our employees to understand that this is a place where everybody should feel safe and comfortable in who they are. Um, we consider what occurred a hate crime, and we immediately started investigation we immediately started investigations by two, depart two departments, the Human Services Department and our Police Department. So we are looking at criminal charges should we find the person who did this. Unfortunately, we've not been able to. We've looked at videotapes, we've taken fingerprints, we've conducted interviews, we've done thorough investigation. As I said, unfortunately, we've been able to not identify the um, parties that were in involved, but this is not closed. We have not closed this investigation. It's ongoing. Tomorrow morning, um, Mr. Mitchell, Mr. Cooney and I are going to be meeting with workers in our city and we'll be, we have two meetings scheduled tomorrow and three meetings scheduled the next day to reiterate to everyone that behavior like this will not be tolerated. We have zero tolerance, and if someone's caught with this behavior, they will be fired and they will be prosecuted. So I want to be really, really clear about that. We're meeting with every work group on this. We're also bringing someone in to have small group meetings with work groups to reiterate and reinforce the training we've already done with our people. So that's going to be starting next week, I believe. Unfortunately, there are a few people who have chosen to behave badly. It's not a reflection on all the employees in our city. They know what's wrong, and they've behaved wrongly. They've behaved poorly, and ultimately we'll find out who they are, and they won't be working for the city anymore. I've stated from the beginning, when we discover who did it, we'll seek prosecution, and we will. Um, we have a great workforce here, we have a diverse workforce here, and most of the times we work very well together. And for the few people who know what's wrong and go ahead and continue to do what's wrong, they will be punished. And I want to be really clear about that. So I hope that you understand where we are in this. I hope that if any of our employees are listening to this tonight, they understand that we're not going to tolerate that kind of behavior. So thank you for being here this evening, and we're adjourned.